Today, we are going to be covering five different build moves that you need to learn. And the best part is they're very easy to master. And as a top 200 Unreal ranked player, I use these moves repeatedly to help me win fights. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure that you guys are subscribed. Use code Farley because I'm broke. And let's get into the video. The first build move you guys need to master is the high wall. Now the high wall is one of the best moves to master because it allows you to take high ground while also allowing you to get peace control on your opponent. All right, so to do this move, the first thing you're going to do is place a ramp and a cone, and then you're going to practice side jumping, and you're going to practice dragging two walls. Just keep doing this over and over until you get it correctly. You can also do it from both sides, so make sure that you get comfortable from both sides. Now, once you have that down, you're going to start incorporating a floor. So you're going to place the walls and then catch yourself on a floor. So practice this over and over until you can get it down. Once you have the floors, you're going to start placing a ramp right on the floor that you land on. So you're going to go here, catch yourself, and place a floor. Now, once you've done that, the move is basically complete. Now, what you do after is your choice. So either you could just edit up, shoot the person, right? But if they're just looking at you, probably not worth it. So instead, you could side jump, catch yourself, and then get a shot off, something like that. Or maybe you get up here, land, and then you, you know, full box, and then get a shot off. Things like that are also very good. Also, if someone's on a cone, what you could do is you could do this, cone them, full box them, get to a different angle, and then get a shot off. It just really depends on what the other person is doing. The second move you need to master is the protected side jump. The side jump is one of the best ways to quickly take high ground from a low ground position. Now there's a few steps to this move. First off, just place a ramp, cone, and a floor. You don't need the floor. It could just be a cone, but whatever, right? You're here and you're gonna practice your side jumps and you're gonna practice catching yourself. Make sure that when you do this though, you are standing on the back side of this ramp. Because if you jump to the front of the box to your left, you're gonna get phased under the ramp and then you obviously can't get that extra layer up. So make sure that you stay at the back and then you sprint this direction and then you turn right. So sprint and then I turn right. Don't sprint in this direction, sprint in this direction. So the next step obviously is to place that floor and then the ramp. Once you've done that, you obviously need to keep yourself protected. So you're going to drag four walls. You're going to do one here, one here, one here, one here. So on full speed, it looks like this. You're going to drag like that. Once you've dragged that, you're going to then place a ramp right above the last wall. So that's why you start here and then you work your way up and then place the wall here. Now, once you get to this point, it's all you. So you could either just, you know, go for a little peace control, piece them up, get a shot like I showed you guys earlier, or, you know, you could just take high ground. But either way, that's the best way to do it. Now, after you get to that point, obviously it's your choice, but I re what I really recommend is placing a high wall after it. So you go here, catch yourself, go up, do the move, and then place a ramp and a cone in front of you, and then you can do a high wall off of it. Also, when you're doing the side jump, you don't just have to do it from this position. You can even do it from a cone. A lot of people don't know that. You can sprint jump off a cone and you can catch yourself the same way you would with a ramp. So you can go here and you can sprint jump and catch yourself. You can also do it with a high wall as well. Just to mention it, you can do it with a high wall. You can also do this from low ground. Let's say I make a bunch of space to bait an opponent down into my box. When he starts smacking on my wall, all I have to do is flip the cone up, edit, and then I can do the side jump. And then I have just gotten high ground for free. So you guys need to learn to do these retakes from different positions so that you're more comfortable with them. Moving on to the third move, click start. Now the click start is one of the fastest ways to change layers, and it's also the easiest trick to do on this list. Now to start out this move, you're going to place three ramps. You're going to place one here, one in front of you, above that, and then one to the right. Once you've done that, then you're going to place a floor and a ramp to your right. Once you've placed these two, you sprint jump onto these, and then you turn left and simply place another floor and a ramp like that. So on full speed, this sort of looks like go up, catch yourself, catch yourself again, catch yourself, catch stuff again and obviously as you can see you don't need to sprint when you do it you can simply just jump but doing these little sprints can give you that boost that you need to catch up to your opponent if you want to get high ground off them the next move is the perfect peak now the perfect peak is a move you set up for the best peak possible to take on the opponent now to do this move obviously you're going to be boxed up and what you're going to do is you're actually going to bait your opponent in now i really recommend actually staying in one box because then they're actually going to focus their attention on one wall that you can work with if they do this from two boxes it won't work as well now when you're sitting in a one by one like this what you're going to do is you're going to practice flipping up the cone and then editing out to your left i recommend just practicing this in a simple motion just do this over and over until you can get this motion down with now without messing up preferably now once you flip this tile obviously you need to make a box to the left so you edit and then you place cones and walls and floors make sure that you place a floor above you so that you can bonk your head when you shoot and then obviously as you're moving you box and then you move and you reset also make sure that you reset the cone as you're moving across so when i make the box i already have the thing reset by the time i get here because if i make the box and then i turn back and then i reset it that takes a few extra seconds 
Now, once you get to this point, obviously you reset the cone and you're on a good peak. The only thing I would not recommend making this edit is this one right here. Because if you make this edit right here, the person can hug this wall and you won't be able to see them and then they could just like spray in or jump in your box. So I really recommend just not making this edit. Instead, maybe do a full wide edit and hug over here. That way you have a good peek and you can always see him moving around wherever he goes. And if he just starts to sprint up to the wall, you can just reset it, wait for him to do something and then you can catch him again. Also, you can do this on offense. So let's say someone's boxed up in front of me like I was before. You can place two cones, flip the cone, and then you can set it up right here so that you can obviously take a shot off. But obviously, it's not your wall anymore, so you need to take the wall from a protected position. So you can just spray the wall. Once you steal it, obviously, you can just make a wide edit and then get a shot off safely behind your peak. The fifth and final move is the fake 180. Now, the fake 180 is a perfect way to bait an opponent into thinking you're going to edit out one way and then surprising them by going a completely different direction. Now to do this move, you're going to place a ramp in front of you, a wall in front of you, and then a wall above you, and then you're going to place a ramp on that wall. And then simply what you're going to do is you're going to drag two cones this direction. Once you drag those two cones that direction, you're going to turn and then 180 and then place a floor and a cone above you. Now once you're in this position, the person that you're fighting obviously thinks, oh, he's going to double it right here. But what you're going to do is you're going to surprise him. Instead, you are going to hug this wall, sprint into this wall, and then turn your body when you hit it so that you kind of bonk off of it and you're in this little corner. Once you get to this little corner, you're going to do what I showed you earlier, side jump, and then catch yourself with a floor and a ramp. And then you're going to do the same side jump that I showed you guys earlier and, and then piece it together. So it's going to look like this. You're going to go here, go over, catch yourself, and then sprint back up and catch yourself and then do this. This is going to catch your opponent off guard because he still thinks you're going to be double editing right there. But instead, you're a layer above him now, and then you can, you know, do whatever you want, piece him up, yada, yada, yada. So on full speed, this is what it looks like. You go up, turn, and then you sprint over here, and then side jump, catch yourself, and then high walls. Also, to learn any of these moves, I recommend going to this creative map right here, Raiders 1v1 map, because it does allow you to free build. And in this map, it allows you to slow down your movement speed, and that means that just learning these retakes is going to take a little bit less time, and you're going to learn them way quicker than if you were going at full speed. Also, I feel like I should mention this, the same map that I was using for these free builds for the video has a peace control part of the map where you can do the exact same thing I've been showing you guys. So like in this drill, you can practice your high walls, get your little peace control in, and then get your shot off. And it's not just that one, they have the other ones as well. So you can practice the peaks, you can go here, set up your peak, and then get your shot. So make sure that you guys go to this section of the map and practice this. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you want to see how to take those skills into ranked, or want to hit Unreal rank like me, go check out these videos right here, and I'll see you all later. Peace.